poster fell. How's it going, YouTube? Welcome back to another series of my Random Mondays. I hope you guys enjoyed the last video that I did for Random Mondays, because let me tell you, I didn't. So the second part of this new series, I'm going to do a rant on why I hate going to the movie theater. That's right, I said it. I hate going to the movie theater. And I know what you're saying, but Taryn, didn't you go to school to make movies? Well, yeah, I, I did. So shouldn't you absolutely positively adore movies? Isn't that your, like, the movie theater, your home away from home? Isn't that your just, your eternal place of rest of where you want to be every single day, 24 seven? Hold on just a second. Slow your roll, take a deep breath, and let me explain. I love movies. As some of you guys know, I actually went to school for digital filmmaking and media production. And media, and media production. I love making movies, I love watching movies, I love every aspect of movies that is out there. I even love going to the movie theater. I love going in front of that big screen TV and having that surround sound. Oh my gosh, just gives me chills. But the one thing I hate the most about going to the movie theater is the people. That's right, I said it. I hate human beings. Now, it's not just one particular kind of human being. I find that there's at least five aspects of a human that I positively hate when it comes to the movie theater. Now, these aren't in any particular order, but they all seem to coincide together and become one person. But here are the different traits of a moviegoer that I positively hate. The eater. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Eating is good for you. Everybody eats in the movie theater. But there is that one particular person, you know that one guy, when you go to get a drink at the movie theater and they get to the bottom of the drink and all you hear is this noise. Ah, my ears! Yes, that noise. Hello, your drink is done. Why are you just sucking the life out of that little container? There's nothing left. Just stop it. You are annoying yourself and everybody around you. I don't have a problem with food. I absolutely adore and love food, probably more than I should. But why does the movie theater charge people, a very overpriced charge, mind you, for the most noisiest food possible? Popcorn. Why? I'm sitting there trying to enjoy my movie and all I hear is Good movie, right? I know. The constant phone checker. Now, imagine it. You're in your movie theater, you're watching your movie that you have been waiting for for forever. And all of a sudden you see this. Ah, it burns! It burns us! <coughs> Whoa. A cough near you killed me. Killed me. It killed me so much I can't even talk. It is so dark in the movie theater that you can see every little light that turns on, especially your cell phone. That light is so bright, it illuminates the person's face. So you know, once the movie is over, you can pick out exactly who it was that was texting or checking their phone at that time. Oh yeah, I saw ya. And I'm gonna get ya. You better sleep with one eye open tonight. Uh-huh watching you. Is this person so attached to their phone, they need to check it every five seconds to see if somebody commented on their photo on Instagram. I hope this person really likes my picture. I worked really hard trying to find the filter for it. Newsflash, no one cares. Now it's not just Instagram, it's Facebook, it's Twitter, it doesn't even matter because you are checking your Facebook, Twitter, messages, everything while a movie is playing and it is completely dark inside. Can you not just put your phone away for at least two hours to enjoy a movie that could possibly change your life, change your whole outlook and how you view everything, just send a message to your soul? Okay, I see how it is. I can't hold my bladder. Oh, I gotta go. Because you're constantly shoving food and drink into your mouth. That, of course, the natural thing happens with the human body. You gotta go to the bathroom. Dude, if you can't hold it, leave the movie theater. Or better yet, do not bring food or drink 
into the movie theater unless you can handle it because clearly you can't because you're getting more exercise than I have gotten in a week just getting up and down up and down left and right up and down all around just please please movie theater people out there please stop selling food uh oh Sorry about that, I was cooking dinner and I had to make sure I wasn't burning the house down. So where were we? Children. Now don't get me wrong, I love children. I mean, you've seen them, I did a challenge with them in the last video that I did for this series. What is this, skunk spray or, or licorice? licorice? Black licorice, basically. I love black licorice. Mm-mm. Bucket, bucket, mm -mm. bucket. Children in movie theaters is just a huge, ginormous mistake. First of all, depending on the age of the child, they cannot sit still long enough to watch a movie. God forbid the movie is an hour long, all you get is this. And then if they're not moving constantly, you have this. Mommy, is the movie over? Mommy, I need to go to the bathroom. Mommy, I'm hungry. Mommy, I don't understand what's going on. Mommy, mommy, mom, mom. Mom. And then during the movie, if you're watching a comedy, there'll be a lot of laughs going on. Maybe some downright, ha 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 Maybe some, ha uh. Now, if your young child is along, they're either gonna not understand, they're either gonna not understand what's going on and just sit there, or they're gonna do the very awkward thing and just laugh as loud as they can once the joke is over and everybody's done laughing. makes me not to want to have children. Please, parents, if you can, leave the kid at home or take them to an appropriate kid movie. And now down to the utmost horrible, irritating moviegoer there is. The talker. I could go on for days on the trait of this person because so far, every single movie theater I have gone to to see a movie, there is always that one person who thinks it is their duty to talk during the entire thing. If you know me, I ostracize, I ostracize everybody during the movie. All I'm doing is just sitting there like this. It's like I'm a zombie from The Walking Dead. Nobody exists but me and that movie. The talker is the one who either whispers really loudly, you know what I'm talking about, the Are you serious? Everybody can hear you. You whispering is not helping anybody whatsoever. And usually the people who are the whisperers are the ones that are sitting right next to you, and it's a couple. And it's probably a couple that's trying to get laid. But let me tell you, the louder you whisper over there, the more likely it's me killing you and burying you in a place where nobody can ever find you. Oh yeah, I have a dark side. Another encounter I've had with talkers is teenage kids. Oh my gosh, was I this annoying as a teenager? There was these group of kids sitting in the very front row. Now this is the front row. You're not even up on the slouch of the hill of the seats yet. This is like the ground floor. And they're sitting in a couple of the front four seats that are there. And me and my friend are sitting all the way in the back, like the second to last row. And we heard every single thing that they were talking about. Excuse me, if you are talking so loudly that I can hear you from the other side of the theater, don't you think you gotta tone it down just a wee little bit? And then of course, when you go tell the movie attendant, the usher, whatever the heck they're called, they come in, they stand in the corner and they just give them this intimidating look like. And then they leave. They don't even talk to the kids. They just walk out of there. The only reason they would physically remove those kids from the movie theater is if they were actually to talk while they are there. But as soon as that movie theater attendant leaves, those kids start talking again. And you know what happens? I have no idea what I just watched because basically all I was watching was you and your group of friends talking about something that I don't care about something that I don't care about that probably deals with high school girl problems like you know a guy liking a girl a girl liking a guy a girl dumping that guy something you know stuff I do not care about and now I am frustrated and angry and now I'm gonna go kill somebody 
Thank you very much. You now created a serial killer. I hope you're proud of yourself. I've actually had family and friends sit next to me during a movie and talk to me. We'll be sitting there watching a movie and he'll go, hey, hey Terry. That was funny, wasn't it? And then when I would get irritated at him, he would go, what? Can I talk to you? Talk to me after. Talk to me after the movie's over. And then I'll just be like, get mad at me for yelling at him for talking during a movie theater. Alright, before I continue any further, I could go on for days on this subject, but I will spare you guys from the horrible torment that this is and say, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. I also want to remind you guys that the Avengers Age of Ultron movie has finally come out. Yay! Marvel is going to become my future empo employer. It's going to become my future employer. That's right, one day I'm going to work for Marvel and make the next Avengers movie in maybe 50 years. So be sure to like and subscribe and leave it in the comments section down below. And I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Bye-bye.